there you go. Two lintels are set. I tell you what, I wish all jobs weren't like this. This has been uh, one of the easiest little jobs we've ever done. It is after break and we're ready to get bashing. I don't even know what I'm saying. This whole corner's been rebuilt. on the lintel job because I make Malcolm's bean always nice to work in a proper scaffold let's go up and have a look the M6 down there, down in the dip. There's the speed cameras. Yeah, this is great, this. You see where it's, uh, where it's lifting? Not a problem. Wonderful customer, wonderful customer, Don. Thank you, Don. Has took all the faces and stuff it's off. You see there's some block on the top. I think they, they go the width of the cavity, so we'll have to we'll have to slot in underneath those. But that's not a problem. Here's all the dust from last week blowing up here. So yeah, today we're going to do these two. Tomorrow we're going to do this one. If that lintel's at home. Uh, yeah, you see the uh, where the lifting is. So that's all going to be sorted. So. Pretty much, we're going to pretty much going to redo the whole top top of this section by the time we took this out and then that out and then we're, we're going to put trays in as well even though there's only three quarters above to the roof we're still going to put new trays and everything in so yeah I was a bit disappointed that's solid but um, we can get over that that's not a problem so yeah we'll uh, get ourselves organised and get cracking. Right. So, as we're obviously on this big scaffold today, we're going to do the method that we used to do on site, which is we have a rope with an old profile clip attached to it. That's going to be our hook. So, we're going to have a little pulley system to uh, get all this stuff up. Instead of hoitering it up and down, we're just going to Hook it on, so so that'll be the plan, and then obviously I'm sure Dad will give you the rundown what's happening here with all this. So catch you in a minute.
Why is your hair green? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, although the block work is trapping our brickwork in, a quick sweep through with the reciprocating saw gets everything nice and loose. Here's these, here's these concrete lintels again. Oh, yeah. And here's our angle iron. I don't know how it's got so rusty up here because it's like there's an 8 inch overhang there. But anyway, it has got rusty. You've probably got just less than 100mm seat in there. Same there. No, it's about 70, that 80, even less. So yeah, that's going. I've took the brickwork right back to the corner because um, our lintel up our, our lintel is going to come to here, so our upstand has to come up here. We'll just fettle it round in the in the corner there somewhere, and then I think, for what it's worth, because it's only what a two brick pillar, two and a half brick pillar, we'll just go right through with the tray put one solid tray in yeah. um, and then we can just tuck it up under here probably just tack it in into those blocks actually and there you go that's all we're changing it with oh yeah well thinner galvanised well, thinner, thinner galvanised but a nice big up stand for the strength not that it's holding much it's holding three quarters of brick so yeah, let's get this tennis down with us and go and get a break. Just so, lintels out, stuck fast on the bloody silicon. So this trim, I'll have to go sort some out with this trim. Yeah, so there you go. I think I keep saying this, but I think these are these boot lintels. Weird-looking things because it's like hollow. But we put insulation in there as we go. There's our other lintels. That's as far as we've gone today. That's tomorrow's job. That side. I'm gonna check this for plumb. If it's not very plumb, I'm gonna rebuild it. A little corner here. And run through, get it all nice and straight. The bricks are absolutely horrendous. Um, back when this was built, I'm pretty sure the bricks weren't delivered in packs; they were delivered on back of trucks and just tipped off. So they're all chipped and in the right state. Oh. They're not good. So um, yeah, let's just cut the cavity tray, which we're going to slot under here. 
Um, what else? Oh yeah, I was going to show you the lintel. This one we just took out. Looks like they put a lick of paint on before they put the windows in, just to protect it, which has worked. Except this, this is where it's seated. See how much that's lifted. It's nearly 10 mil that. And then the seating here is about 120. Seating this end was probably about 90 with that. So why wouldn't you just put it central and have equal seating? You can see the old red lead paint. It's done its duty on the upstand, but where the water's getting out of the face work, this is upside down. That's the bit that's the bottom of it, so just turn it over. Nasty. First lintel's in. Take credit for that. What? Just means the house is level. We haven't done anything. Well, we've, we've, we've set it right. It's like rough as anything, but it's nice and level anyway. But the, the beds could have been a bit too high or something. Yeah. I'll have that. I'll have it. If you won't, I will. So there you go. Two lintels are set. I tell you what, I wish all jobs weren't like this. This has been uh, one of the easiest little jobs we've ever done. Pardon? Yeah. But yeah, the bricks came out nicely. No need for propping. Nice, uh, well, I, I didn't even clean off these bricks. My dad managed to do them with the, uh, the hammer and chisel. They were that easy to come off. So yeah, it's been a nice, uh, nice change of pace from some of the usual. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, the customer took all the uh, facial boards off for us. So big thank you to him. He's made, uh, he's made our whole job here a lot easier. It's just in general, he's like been moving so far, he's been getting stuff sorted. And it's always nice when the customers are... Uh... Yeah. We have to run that along the edge to get the form crease in the link. Just trying to get this crease out. That's it. Hey. Oh, this, the, uh, the lintel? Yeah. There you go, and the tray set out, like Dad said, because it's so close together. 
May as well just have one continuous one. We can get all our vents in and whatever you, you know the song and dance. Let's see. There you go, get a better look. There we have it. So we'll probably just use up that mix and have a quick lunch and then we'll get this blasted out for the end of the day. end of part one 
this whole corner has been rebuilt. Sorry about the wind. So there you go. It's back over, new lintels, new tray, all nicely repointed, nice and tight. Uh, the, the whole back of the house is wonky. So we just have to follow it where we could. And here's all the wheat vents just for the doubters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two separate lentils, one, one continuous tray. That's an upstand there, that brick hasn't been set. See the upstand there? Just there. So what we're going to do is, when this one comes along, I'm going to put another upstand against that. So there'll be two wheat vents together, but the two trays will meet there. So, rather than trying to do a whole tray right across the back. So that's it. Not very pretty to follow this brickwork, as you can see. Almost 25 more, 30 more beds. You can see they've got low and that's picked up to get to the little height at the top. But anyway, it's such a shame that. So yeah, that's it for today. It's the end of our Sunday. We're back on the extension job tomorrow to get finished, get the steels on, get the two course on the front of the pike up and then back here Monday to get this one cracked off. Crack. <laughs> get it? So yeah. There you go. That's it for now and we'll catch you in the next one.